Imagine a power so potent and so profound that it resides within you, unseen by the naked eye yet as real as the heartbeat within your chest. This energy, this inner magic, is the essence of your being, your prana, your life force. Often, we look outside ourselves for magic. We search for it in books, in movies, in the extraordinary occurrences of life. But what if I told you that the greatest source of magic is within you, woven into the fabric of your very being? This divine energy coursing through you is the same one that runs through the veins of the universe, intertwining us all in a cosmic dance of life and consciousness. The concept of inner magic is not new. In fact, it's as old as time itself. The ancient texts of wisdom, from the Emerald Tablets of Thoth to the Vegan VRA of Tantra, and the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali have all spoken of this inner energy. They referred to it as prana, kai, or the life force, the essence that connects us to the universe. In the Emerald Tablets, Thoth, the ancient Egyptian god of wisdom, wrote about the inner light that permeates every cell of our bodies, the divine spark that connects us to the cosmos. The Vegan VRA, one of the most sacred texts of Tantric philosophy, speaks of inner energy as the core of spiritual evolution and transformation. Similarly, Patanjali's Yoga Sutras describe prana, the vital life force, as the animating principle behind the physical and mental existence. This energy, this life force, this inner magic is not just a concept or a philosophical belief. It's your birthright, an inherent part of you. It's the divine symphony playing in every cell of your body, the vibrant dance of life coursing through your veins. It's the universe within you, the cosmos in your cells. Imagine harnessing this energy, this inner magic, for your transformation and growth. Imagine tapping into this divine source within you to manifest your deepest desires, to live the life of your dreams. The key to unlocking the treasure trove of this inner magic lies in understanding and connecting with what I like to call the heart of the flame. The heart of the flame is your soul center, the core of your being. It's where your inner magic resides, where the divine spark of life and consciousness burns brightest. It's the wellspring of your true self, your authentic essence, the seed of your soul. Connecting with this heart of the flame is not an act of reaching outward but a journey inward. It's a deep dive into the ocean of your being, an exploration of the vast universe within you. It's a sacred pilgrimage to the shrine of your soul, a communion with your truest self. Meditation serves as a bridge to this sacred center of your being, the heart of the flame. It's the vehicle that transports us from the outer realm of noise and distractions to the inner sanctum of silence and stillness. As we descend into the depths of our soul through meditation, we begin to feel the pulse of our inner magic, the rhythm of our life force, the hum of our cosmic energy. Regular practice of meditation can induce a shift in our perception of reality. We begin to see ourselves not as separate entities fighting for survival in a vast universe but as integral parts of a grand cosmic tapestry. We realize that we are not merely in the universe, but the universe is in us. We are the universe experiencing itself through the unique lens of our individual consciousness. This realization brings forth a profound sense of unity and interconnectedness with all of life, an overwhelming feeling of oneness with the cosmic whole. It marks the beginning of our transformation, the awakening of our inner magic, the birth of our divine potential. In the words of the great mystic Rumi, you are not a drop in the ocean. You are the entire ocean in a drop. This is the wisdom of inner magic, the secret of the heart of the flame. You are not a speck of dust in the universe. You are the universe in a speck of dust. You are not a finite being in the world. You are a world within a finite being. The magic is within you. Your task is to uncover it, to harness it, to live it. One might wonder how to tap into this heart of the flame, this center of divine energy within us. The path to it is a practice as ancient as human consciousness itself, meditation. The art of meditation is like a deep sea dive into the ocean of our being. It is an inward journey, a voyage into the deepest realms of our consciousness, a pilgrimage to the sacred shrine of our soul. 
Mastering the art of meditation requires patience, dedication, and practice. It is not a one-time event but a way of life, a spiritual discipline, a commitment to exploring the vast universe within us. As we practice meditation regularly, we begin to experience a shift in our perception of reality. The boundaries that separate us from the rest of the universe begin to dissolve, and we start to experience a sense of unity and interconnectedness with all of life. This sense of unity, this feeling of oneness, is the doorway to experiencing our inner magic. It is when we realize that we are not merely a part of the universe, but the universe is a part of us. This realization is a transformative awakening, a rebirth of our consciousness, a moment of spiritual epiphany. The magic, however, does not stop there. The awakening is just the beginning. The real magic lies in harnessing this energy, in mastering the flow of this life force within us. This mastery is the key to personal transformation, the secret to manifesting our deepest desires, the pathway to living a life of purpose and fulfillment. The ancient Yoga Sutras of Patanjali offer profound insights into mastering this magical energy within us. They reveal the power of breath control or pranayama and visualization techniques in cultivating and harnessing our life force energy. Breath is not just a physical process. It is a bridge between our body, mind, and spirit, a lifeline that connects us to the universe. When we control our breath, we control our life force, our prana. When we master our breath, we master our energy, we master our magic. Pranayama is not just about breathing in and out. It's about inflowing energy and outflowing consciousness, inhaling life, and exhaling magic. Similarly, visualization is a powerful tool for cultivating our inner magic. It's like a mental rehearsal of our desired reality. When we visualize, we create mental images of our desires. These images, infused with our emotions and intentions, create a resonance in our energy field that aligns us with the universe's creative power, enabling us to manifest our desires into reality. But mastering magic is not just about manifesting our desires. It's about aligning ourselves with the universal laws of energy and consciousness. It's about living in harmony with the rhythm of the universe, resonating with the cosmic symphony, dancing to the divine tune. When we align ourselves with this cosmic rhythm, we awaken to our true self, our authentic essence, our original nature. We begin to see through the veil of illusions and recognize our inherent divinity, our innate magic. We realize that we are not human beings having a spiritual experience, but spiritual beings having a human experience. In this awakened state, we no longer live on autopilot, driven by unconscious patterns and conditioning. Instead, we live consciously, guided by our inner wisdom, empowered by our inner magic. We recognize our divine purpose and live in alignment with it, creating a life of purpose, meaning, and fulfillment. But how do we discover this divine purpose? How do we know what our soul is here to do? The answer lies in self-reflection and introspection. By looking within, by observing our thoughts, feelings, and reactions, by examining our beliefs, values, and desires, we gain insights into our true self, our core essence. This self-awareness is a guiding light on our path of discovery, leading us to our divine purpose, our unique contribution to the world. Living a life of magic is not just about personal transformation. It's about transforming the world around us, making a difference, leaving a legacy. It's about living a life of service, contributing to the greater good, making the world a better place. And this is where gratitude comes in. Gratitude is a powerful force that shifts our perception, transforms our reality, and opens the door to a life of magic. When we appreciate the world around us, when we express gratitude for the blessings in our life, we attract more blessings, more magic. We become a magnet for miracles, a conduit for cosmic energy, a vessel for divine grace. Living a life of magic is not a destination but a journey, a lifelong journey of awakening, growth, and transformation. It's a path of courage, patience, and dedication, a voyage of self-discovery, self-mastery, and self-realization. But the rewards of this journey are beyond measure, beyond words. For, 
In the end, we discovered that the magic we were seeking outside was within us all along. We realize that we are not just a part of the magic, we are the magic itself. As we journey through life, aligning ourselves with the universal rhythm, embracing our divine purpose, and cultivating an attitude of gratitude, we find ourselves standing at the threshold of a deeper truth, a profound realization. We have indeed begun to master the art of life force, of inner magic. But our evolution doesn't end here. This journey inward offers an even richer, deeper and more profound way of living, one that is centered around the practical cultivation of this inner magic. Now, you may be wondering how can we practically cultivate this inner magic? The answer to this question lies in the ancient teachings of the vegan bee tantra. The teachings of tantra are profound and transformative. They guide us on a path of awakening, inviting us to live life as a sacred ritual, as a divine dance of energy and consciousness. To awaken this inner magic, Tantra suggests a powerful technique, the practice of mantra repetition or chanting. A mantra is not just a mere set of words or sound. It is a sonic symbol, a vibrational blueprint, a cosmic code that encodes the secrets of the universe. When we chant a mantra, we align with its vibration, we resonate with its energy, we attune ourselves with its divine frequency. Every mantra is like a key that unlocks a particular aspect of the divine, a specific dimension of the universe. Chanting a mantra is like dialing a cosmic number, connecting with a divine entity, a celestial being, a universal principle. This connection, this attunement, this resonance, awakens our inner magic, ignites our divine spark, activates our spiritual DNA. Chanting a mantra is a sacred ritual, a divine communion, a spiritual symphony. It is an act of devotion, a gesture of surrender, a dance of love. When we chant a mantra, we offer our voice to the divine. We dedicate our breath to the universe. We surrender our ego to the cosmic consciousness. This surrender, this offering, this devotion, shatters our illusions, dissolves our limitations, and reveals our true nature, our divine essence, our inner magic. While the practice of chanting and mantra repetition is powerful, it is not the sole way to cultivate our inner magic. The Tantra also speaks of cultivating awareness in our daily lives. It invites us to live mindfully, to stay present, to pay attention. Awareness is the light that illuminates our consciousness, the mirror that reflects our reality, the beacon that guides our journey. When we live with awareness, we notice the magic in every moment, we see the divine in every detail, we recognize the extraordinary in the ordinary. This awareness, this mindfulness, this presence, infuses our life with magic, fills our days with wonder, and transforms our world into a divine playground. The Tantra also emphasizes that the path of awakening and transformation is a lifelong journey. It is not a sprint, but a marathon. It requires patience, perseverance, and persistence. It demands courage, commitment, and conviction. This journey is like climbing a mountain. The path may be steep, the climb may be tough, the journey may be long. But with every step, we rise higher, we see farther, we shine brighter. Remember, the journey is the destination. The goal is not to reach the top, but to enjoy the climb. The aim is not to finish the race, but to relish the run. The objective is not to awaken the magic, but to live the magic. For, in truth, we are not just on a journey to discover our inner magic. We are on a journey to become our inner magic. The last point I want to share is that this journey of awakening and transformation is not a solitary journey. It is a collective journey, a communal quest, a universal pilgrimage. We are all in this together, walking this sacred path, climbing this divine mountain, dancing this cosmic dance. So let's support each other, encourage each other, inspire each other. Let's share our insights, wisdom, and experiences. Let's celebrate our successes, learn from our failures, and grow together. If you've been enjoying the content of this video, and feel connected to the message shared today, I'd appreciate it if you could please show your support by hitting the like button. This simple act of engagement will help spread the magic we're creating here to others seeking their own path of inner discovery. 
May your journey be filled with magic, and may you become the magic you were born to be. As we dive deeper into the ocean of our being, I invite you to consider an essential truth. That the journey of awakening our inner magic, of harnessing our life force, fundamentally begins and ends within us. The Emerald Tablets of Thought, after all, share the wisdom that, as within, so without. So, let's explore this inner space, the seat of our soul, and the center of our being. Picture it as the heart of the flame. This heart of the flame is not just an abstract concept. It is the most real and intimate part of us. It is the core of our being, the essence of our existence, the source of our life force. It is here from where we connect with the energy of the universe. It is here where our inner magic resides. Just as a flame cannot exist without its core, we cannot exist without this heart, this essence, this prana, chi, or life force. And how do we connect with this heart of the flame? Through the art and science of meditation. Meditation is not just a practice. It is a state of being, a way of living, a path of awakening. It is a bridge that connects us with our essence, a vehicle that transports us to our core, a key that unlocks our inner magic. Through meditation, we are not just sitting in silence. We are diving deep into the ocean of consciousness, exploring the universe within, discovering our true nature. We are not just observing our thoughts. We are witnessing the dance of energy, the play of consciousness, the mystery of existence. We are not just focusing our mind. We are aligning our being, harmonizing our energy, awakening our magic. As we meditate, we begin to perceive reality in a new light. We see the world not as a collection of separate entities, but as a web of interconnected energy. We realize that we are not just a part of this universe, we are this universe. We are not just in this world, this world is in us. As this perception shifts, we experience a profound sense of unity with life, a deep connection with existence, a divine synergy with the universe. Mastering this flow of life force, this inner magic, is an art in itself. It's not about controlling or manipulating this energy, but rather understanding and harmonizing with it. How? By returning to the wisdom of the ancient texts, particularly the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. These texts provide us with practical techniques, including breath control and visualization, to cultivate this energy. Breathing, according to Patanjali, is not just a physiological process but a spiritual practice. It's the bridge that links our body and mind, the conduit that connects our physical and spiritual selves, the thread that weaves our external and internal worlds. By controlling our breath, we can control our mind, our energy, our life force. We can channel this energy, direct this flow, cultivate this magic. Visualization is another powerful technique suggested by Patanjali. Visualization is not just imagining a desired outcome, but feeling, experiencing, and living it in the present moment. It's about aligning our thoughts, emotions, and actions with our visualized goal, and in doing so, we shift our energy field, manifest our desires, and materialize our dreams. And what does it mean to live a life of magic? Magic, in its truest sense, is not about performing tricks or manipulating reality. It's about aligning ourselves with the universal laws of energy and consciousness. It's about recognizing the divine order in chaos, seeing the perfect pattern in randomness, understanding the cosmic rhythm in the flux of life. This understanding, this alignment, this magic comes from self-reflection and introspection. It comes from looking within, from exploring our inner world, from understanding our true self. As we delve deeper into our essence, as we unearth our true self, we clarify our purpose in life. We discover our role in this cosmic play. We realize our mission in this divine dance. We unveil our part in this universal symphony. As we journey on this path of awakening, of self-discovery, of inner magic, let us cultivate an attitude of gratitude and appreciation. Let us thank the universe for this life, for this world, for this existence. Let us appreciate the beauty in the mundane, the magic in the ordinary, the divine in the daily. In every breath, let us feel the magic of life. In every step, 
let us experience the dance of existence. In every moment, let us celebrate the miracle of being. For, therein lies the true magic. The magic of being alive. The magic of being present. The magic of being us. As we live this magic, as we are this magic, let us share this magic. For, the magic we share is the magic we amplify. The magic we amplify is the magic we become. And if you are enjoying this journey and resonating with these words, I encourage you to share your magic by liking this video, thus helping this magic reach more souls on their journey of awakening. As we tread further on this path of awakening, let us delve into practical techniques that can help us harness and cultivate our inner magic. These techniques are not novel inventions. Instead, they are ancient wisdom drawn from the vegan bee tantra. These pieces of wisdom are like keys, fashioned by the ancients, which can unlock the doors of perception and open up a world of unity and interconnectedness. One of the most potent techniques to awaken our inner magic is that of chanting and mantra repetition. To the untrained ear, a mantra might seem like a mere sequence of sounds, but in truth, it is a tool of tremendous transformative power. Every mantra carries within it a specific vibrational frequency. When we repeat a mantra, we are not just speaking. We are resonating. We are vibrating. We are aligning ourselves with this frequency. Through this alignment, we connect with the universal energy. We tune into the cosmic rhythm. We become a part of the symphony of existence. Mantra repetition, thus, is not just a technique. It's an experience, a journey, a dance. It's a path that leads us to the depth of our being, to the core of our existence, to the heart of our flame. This path, however, is not a one-time journey. It's a lifelong endeavor, a daily practice, a constant effort. It demands patience, dedication, and courage. It requires us to be present, to be vigilant, to be aware. Patanjali emphasized the importance of consistency and perseverance in spiritual practice. He stated, practice becomes firmly grounded when well attended to for a long time, without break, and in all earnestness. Now, consider chanting as a tool to connect with your inner self, your life force, your prana. As you chant, visualize this energy awakening within you, feel it resonating with every cell, every atom, every particle of your being. As this energy awakens, as this magic unfolds, experience the transformation. Witness the miracle, live the magic. Yet, it's not only through chanting or meditation that we cultivate our inner magic. It's through every breath we take, every step we make, every moment we live. It's through our daily life, our regular actions, our routine interactions. It's about living consciously, living mindfully, living holistically. It's about being aware, being connected, being present. How do we do this? by bringing mindfulness into our daily life, by transforming every action, however mundane, into a mindful practice, by turning every moment, however ordinary, into a magical experience, by making every interaction, however casual, into a heartfelt connection. So whether you're eating or cooking, working or resting, speaking or listening, be mindful, be present, be connected, observe your thoughts, Notice your feelings, watch your actions. Connect with your breath, your body, your energy. Feel the magic in every moment, experience the magic in every action, live the magic in every breath. As we walk this path, as we live this magic, as we become this magic, let us remember that we are not alone. We are all on this journey together. We are all part of this cosmic dance, this divine play, this universal symphony. We are all co-creators of our reality, co-pilots of our journey, co-participants in this game of life. So, let us help each other, support each other, inspire each other. Let us share our experiences, our insights, our wisdom. Let us learn from each other, grow with each other, evolve together. With this in mind, I want to thank you for taking the time to join me on this journey of discovering and cultivating our inner magic. I encourage you to keep exploring, keep learning, and keep growing. And most importantly, don't forget to practice. Remember, it's the regular practice of these techniques that brings about transformation. 
If you found value in this talk, I invite you to like this video, share it with those who might benefit from it, and subscribe to the channel for more such content. Your support is a powerful boost to our shared journey of awakening and transformation. Let us continue to inspire and uplift each other as we collectively raise our consciousness and create a world imbued with magic. Until next time, keep living the magic.